you think you can dance is already prepping for its next season, Stephen King is coming back to Broadway and the situation needs some more support. What's up guys, Benjamin Allen, it's your weekly dish, let's roll. Russian ballerina Tamara Karasevina would not have been very happy if she had known a painting of her being massaged had been wrongly catalogued for decades as a Californian painting of a 1940 starlet. It was recently discovered that the artwork was actually painted back in 1911 in Paris by Ludwig Kainer. Kainer used to work closely with Diaghilev's Ballet Russe, of which Karasevina was a star dancer. To catch a glimpse of the painting, go to the Welcome Library in London. So you think you can dance does not take a breath. While season 7's tour just kicked off this past Sunday, Fox's show is already getting ready for its 8th season and has set some fresh new dates for the first round of auditions in Oakland, California. More dates and cities will be added soon, so keep an eye on Dance Plug's audition listings for all the info you need. Successful dancer Brittany Perry Russell has already worked with the likes of Usher, 50 Cent, Rihanna, and Neo, and is now digging her way into the acting world. After appearing in a CSY New York episode, Glee's Cheerios cheerleader has recently landed the lead role of Lyric in Honey 2 alongside Katarina Graham and Audrina Patridge. Remember the movie Carrie, where a repressed telekinetic girl gets pig's blood poured all over her and she ends up destroying the school with her powers? Well, a musical version was created back in the 80s and, you guessed it, flopped. But rumor is composer Michael Gore, famous for his work on Fame and Footloose, is planning a revival of Carrie the Musical with brand new songs. Can't wait to see what that's all about. There's a movement happening in the dance industry, and it's all thanks to Jim Keith. We were at the launch party last night for his new company, and we got to talk to some of the choreographer's guests. And of course, Jim, take a look. Hey guys, Benjamin Allen here, and the reason we are all here tonight, Mr. Jim Keith, dude, this is so awesome. This Thanks. is all because of you yes. and your company, and I want to know everything about your company. We're a, actually a dance management company, which is a actually a di different design. We're actually focusing more on the artist instead of the bottom line of the agency. I'm hoping to make that actually a norm inside of dance representation and uh, create that here tonight. I really love that he's like working with like new fresh choreographers that are really are talented but haven't really had the opportunities that a lot of other choreographers have had. It's about time that choreographers sort of had the type of representation where we're really, really, really being like catered to one on one. I just think it's really, really gonna sort of make us step up our game. My whole design is is that let's make the artist first. Let's go back to the artist first. What are the artist's goals? What are the artist's dreams? What are the artist's aspirations? What's the design? What's the niche that this artist can provide? What is Jim onto right now? Is he onto something really big? Uh, I think he's onto something really big and really special. He's he's got a different perspective just on the whole dance community itself and being a dancer himself and having grown up in the in the community. Jim's had my back for the last four years of my entire dance career. Um, uh, I was with him at DDO, and then when he decided to start his own adventure, I happily, you know, went went with him. And, and you know, I'm I'm really excited to see what comes from it. I, I think he's going to do me a lot of good. Dancers Alliance is very important, and all you dancers need to get together and support this organization. Because if you don't, you're actually dooming yourselves to 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 not evolve with the performing arts at the same level as actors and singers. I like that he's into the progression of the arts yeah. and letting that be the front runner of the idea of the movement. And listen to the words of this man. He knows what he's talking Support about. Support Dancers Alliance and the movement. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thank you so much for talking to Thanks, us. Man. We're so happy for you and everything that you're doing and, uh, and keep the movement going. Thanks a lot, Ben. <laughs> Nicholas Eichenberger is a young driven dancer who's been training in jazz, hip hop, contemporary, lyrical and jazz funk at the dance bar in Windsor, Canada and is now ready to get out and explore the dance world. He says, anyone who hires me will not be disappointed. Hard work and long hours do not scare me. Uh, Nick, you are a choreographer's dream. Keep up the good work. Melissa Miles, who is currently choreographing and dancing in Psycho Circus of Magic and Mayhem at Not Scary Farm, is not wanting to slow down and has a non-stop contemporary combo for advanced level. Slow Me Down will help build your endurance and work on your weight placement, so get those feet ready to move you around. 
World-renowned Batsheva Dance Company is making its return to the Joyce Theatre in New York after 27 years of absence. Artistic Director Ohad Nahirin will present Project 5, performed by two different casts, one composed of five women and one composed of five men, offering a different angle to the pieces. It is currently performing until October 3rd. Click below for more info. Dancing with the Stars is back in full swing, and contestant Mike Sorrentino, nicknamed The Situation, doesn't seem to have much support from his Jersey Shore castmates. Vinny is confident. I've seen some people that can't dance, and they've gone pretty far on the show. Yeah, right. Sammy's sweetheart Giancola will be cheering, but also added, I hope his partner knows how to fist pump. DJ Polly D says, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be hard for him, you know? It's, uh, it's not fist pumping, you know? Well, self-tan Snooky claims, oh my god, he'll totally humiliate humiliate himself. He can't even do a fist pump correctly. Ouch. 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 And that's all the time we have for today. You guys rock my world. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you sign up for Dance Plug and rate, comment, and subscribe. We love to know what you're thinking. Until next week, I'm Benjamin Allen. I'll see you then. Peace and love.